This is Bowling Green State University, a school with excellent facilities, nice campus, an aggressive athletic program, and this is Gary McBride. He's 22, and he's a lot like any other student. He has a car and a girlfriend, Lori Smith. She's a senior like Gary. Gary has a dog, and like most students, he gets good vibes from music. The difference is he gets only vibrations. Gary has been deaf since birth. He gets his signals from the linebackers, one tap on the left, two on the right, every tap with a different meaning. He's a first-string defensive tackle. His friend and counselor, Dr. George Scherf, sees great potential for Gary in industrial design. Gary's a kid with a lot of heart. It shows on the football field, and his classroom activities, and in his social life. And I'm sure that uh, Gary's going to make a place for himself somewhere. Lori talks about communication problems in dating. Gary and I don't have any problems as far as his being a handicap, as far as being deaf. A lot of people ask us that question, but we don't have any problems. Just that sometimes um, when we're with other people, I have to help him, you know, because it's hard for him to lip read people when he first meets them. And it's, um, it's hard for the people to understand him. But when, that, you're, when you're alone, uh, spending an evening together, do you talk a lot? Oh, yeah. We talk a lot. In the beginning, we had some problems. We didn't talk a whole lot together. And we worked it out, and we, we turned out to be really close. Because we talk a lot together, we want to get our minds together, too. Rick Newman roomed with Gary, and he's one of his teammates. He provides some thought-provoking insight of Gary McBride, the human being. They tell me that uh, he's the butt of a lot of locker room humor, too. Yeah, well, a lot of people that see us in action, that's off the field. They, they think we get on him a little too much. They think, you know, actually, they think we're cruel to him. But they don't, you know, he's, a, he's kind of a sly guy. He, he comes on us and he slips a lot of jokes in on us a lot of times. He, we'll be listening to the stereo in our apartment or something. He'll come in and tell us to turn it down because it's too noisy. He wants to study and he gets on us a lot of times like that. The head coach at Bowling Green is Don Nalen. Fine winning record, a habit of upsetting the Giants. And he's a man with very special understanding for today's young people and the problems they face on campus. Coach, doesn't a college football coach have enough troubles without recruiting a, a deaf kid? Why did you go after him? Well, Dave, when Gary was a senior in high school at Niles McKinley, he was a first-team All-State middle guard. He was about 6'2", 220 pounds. He had all the physical tools to get it done. He had done a good job academically in high school, and the, and the people here at our university felt they could do a good job with Gary. Consequently, we went after and recruited him. And not a moment of being sorry, huh? No, the toughest job with Gary was his freshman year when we had to assign another freshman football player to go to all of Gary's classes with him to make sure that Gary had all the notes that the professor passed out that day. Since that time, it's been fairly easy, and I might add he's done a good job for us academically. Gary McBride has learned through speech therapy to read lips and to speak and to be understood. What about this handicap? I never think about my handicap because I don't have any problem. Gary gets some tutoring, does his assignments, goes to classes, and we should add to rock concerts. He gets good grades, and somehow he managed to bridge the so-called communications gap that we talk about so much in this country today. Quite a young man. There's an old saying, I had no shoes and I complained until I saw a man who had no feet. Most people have sight. Some don't have any vision at all. This young man does not hear. He surely comprehends. 